It's National Night Out 2013. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Later on, we'll have more from Tuesday's community-wide event that featured a very special raffle. We also have coverage of this week's Garrison Change of Command, these stories and more. But first, earlier this week, Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel announced that unpaid furloughs for more than 650,000 DOD civilians are being reduced. Secretary Hagel signed a memo cutting furlough days for DOD civilians from 11 to 6. This means that for most employees, the furlough will be over by August 17th. The recent savings and reprogramming of funds have enabled DOD to fund improvements in training and also reduce the furlough days. As for fiscal year 2014, Secretary Hagel says the budget is still up in the air, but DOD will do everything possible to avoid imposing furloughs next year. Meanwhile, locally with tens of thousands of employees and full-time residents, Fort Meade can be considered a city unto itself. Responsible for base support, security, and infrastructure, the Fort Meade Garrison commander is akin to a city mayor. This week, the garrison said goodbye to one and hello to a new mayor. My last bit of advice to Brian, his wife Lee, and especially son Liam, and I'm not going to repeat what I said out, out there, but that's okay, is to wish you the best of luck. I have to be politically correct. Hang on tight for a wild ride. Embrace every moment with this community as the community will reciprocate in kind. And it leads me to my final thoughts. And Mr. Schoenbeck shared a bit of it before. Our great leader, General Odierno, our Chief of Staff of the Army, says it very well when he shares that the strength of our nation are the men and women in our uniform. However, our strength comes from our family that stand by our sides. I'd like to take it one step further by sharing with you that it is the extended family, which includes our community, that gives us that strength. And really, that's what Team Mead is all about. God bless our great nation, our armed services, and Team Mead. Army strong. Members of the Team Mead Garrison, thank you again for the pride and professionalism you exhibit every day. We have a busy time ahead of us as we continue to manage the growth of Fort Meade while making the very best use of our available resources. Lee and I are looking forward to writing the next chapter of this fort's long and glorious history with you as we continue to prove to the world that we are one team, Team Meade. All garrison policies and procedures remain in effect. Thank you very much and have an Army strong day. We'll have more with the new garrison commander in next week's edition of our award-winning newspaper, The Sound Off. Meanwhile, on Tuesday, Fort Meade held one of its largest community events of the year, National Night Out. For 30 years, fire and police forces from across the country have teamed up with local communities to help improve awareness of local crime and safety issues. Fort Meade's Directorate of Emergency Services has organized the annual event that has been named Best in the DOD for five straight years. Is year six a winner as well? Taking a look, it does seem to get bigger and better every year. This year's event featured the usual suspects, including participation from fire and police departments from the entire region. The favorite attraction this year? I'd have to make a guess and say the icy vendor. National Night Out was also the scene for the local NFL punt pass and kick competition. We'll have the results and see if anyone advanced to the next round on next week's show. In the meantime, this year's event did feature one of Fort Meade's police officers doing his part to get closer to the community. What's in this envelope? It's awesome, I'm telling you. Okay, is everybody ready? Got your tickets out? Here's the number. 381-305. Raise your hand. It's yours. Here you go. All right. All right. Now, the only thing is you have to open it now. Okay. Okay? Uh-oh. Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who don't realize what's going on, yes, oh my gosh. I the wedding proposal just occurred right here at Fort Meade National Night Out, and she said yes! Rock and roll. Oh, oh my goodness. Put that hand, that hand. This is my hand. Yes, this is my hand. Yes, I think it. And it fits. Congratulations to Officer John McLeese and his bride-to-be, Miss Raven Wiggins. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.